Uh, well, it's uh, the official charge is a breach of of uh, a peace officer, something along those lines. Breach of a peace officer. Breach of um, something like that. I can't remember. Sorry, I'm under stress from duress. Okay, right well, what, what, what were you? What was the? What was the incident? That well, he says he. I never gave a name. When in fact, I did give a name. And, and like I said, to? these here will come out. And what so. It, what was it in reference to? Though, is it a? Is it a I got. Parking ticket? Is it no, I got pulled ticket? over. He asked me for a name, and he asked me for a driver's license. I give him my version of the driver's license, and I give him a private contract and a public contract that I have with Yves Lacasse, the superintendent, which is a lawful contract that Yves has breached and he will be held accountable for it. I sent him three notices. He had plenty of time to respond to him. I asked him plainly and freely, this is what I'm going to be doing. I told him that I have no drivers, no motor vehicle driver's license, though we went through it and I stated my case for it, such as the definition of highway in the criminal code states that it is a public right of way. So what was fiction? What, what is being reported that is not factual? I can't go into detail right now, but it's, it's plain to see there's a lot of stuff that's either mistaken, and I can understand mistakes, but you guys are supposed to be professional and competent people. And it's not to say anybody in this group here, I'm not making accusations, but there are some that either, it's, it seems quite obvious that they're trying to twist things. So how does this work though, Brian? If, for, for example, if you were to run for mayor and be successful, what happens to all the bylaws and, and all the rules at, at City Hall? How do you run a city if you don't believe in the laws that which they're run by? Excuse, watch what you say when you say believe. What did I say? You weren't listening. I said no, I any wasn't. law. It was very long. I'm and sorry, and I, I'm sorry. I have two minutes to tell your story, so it okay. has to be very succinct. And to any the law point. that goes against God's law is of no force of effect. Section 52 of the Charter of Rights states So what states does that it. mean, though? What happens? To any bylaws law, in the city? you know, I'm uh, perfectly willing to abide by proper laws. But laws that come across that go against natural law, that cause harm to people, that are nothing more than to fleece, they're not for pu protecting but what's public. what's proper and what's natural? I, I guess I'm just trying to figure out, give me an exact example. So so what's a natural and proper law that would be under bylaws within the city of Kamloops? You know, it's really hard to say right now. Like I say, I'm under a lot of threat and duress. I've got a lot of stuff on me right now. Um, perhaps I could get back to you with some of those examples and maybe we could have a proper one-on-one. -on -one it's just tough because I'm trying to get your message out and I'm not sure what your message well, is. Well, today I message? have one message. If you, Those messages that you are seeking can come, like I say, at a private. So what is your message today? I just read you my message. But it's a, a bunch of messages. What's your message? What are you trying to tell us today? You want one message? Yeah. What, what, when we walk I want the today, government to be held accountable. And I think a lot of people here are victims of our government. I'm not the only one. Most people are forced under gunpoint or under some other threat and duress to comply. I am under certain circumstances where I am able to stand up. I work for myself. I am my own man. I don't have to bow down to a government paid work job or, or anything like that. You know, I am my own man. So I am doing this for the community. It's not for me. It's got nothing to do with me. It's got to do with right and wrong. Do you think that some people find it hard to take you seriously? Of course they do, until they know the facts. But I would suggest to people not to judge me or to make up their minds until they hear the facts. That's all I'm asking. It's a no perfect opportunity, um, given the fact that you're suggesting that we've reported falsely. Some people have. We have all the media right here to, to let us know exactly what's been wrong, especially considering we're all going to be going back and writing stories. Yeah, well, I, I'm getting tired of people saying I'm above, they think I, or I say I'm above the law or, you know, those types of things. I have never said I am above the law. That is a mistake. And there's certain, like I say, people out there keep pounding that in. And it's not true. What we're saying is any law that goes against, you know, God's law or natural law. You know what natural law is? You need natural law to survive. It's been around for millions of years. Society is being shriveled up because laws go against natural law. So then they're, they're not helping the public, they're hurting the public. Take the two drinks, maximum or 0 0.05 people are deathly afraid to go out and have a drink now it's ruining our community there has never been another you know there's you know it hasn't helped there's still those people that got hurt by the drunk driver it's sort of like the gun law consider it like the gun law an unjust law is sort of like a gun law you got the criminals and you got us law-abiding people us law-abiding people aren't the ones that are going to go out and take a registered handgun and go and hurt somebody it's the criminals that are going to go out there. So you can make as many laws as you want, but those people who are drunk drivers, who are alcoholics, are going to drive no matter what. 
those people who break the laws, who are criminals, are going to drive, break the law no matter what. So it doesn't police, it doesn't help the good, you know, the good law-abiding people. But, but are you saying that those laws just don't exist? I mean, doesn't that just lead to anarchy? No. It doesn't. So why do you think laws were created in the first place? Laws were created in the first place to govern society. Right. So if you got unjust laws, they're governing society. So now instead of protecting society, you're harming society. Is it hard to grasp for you people to understand? No, or, or you say for you to understand? Yeah, absolutely, because I don't understand what you mean when you say natural law. Because well, you then that's your example. problem. You're going to have no, to go. No, you have to ex give me an example. Give me some concrete, tele tangible, give me, a, give me an idea of natural law. What does natural law mean? What does that mean? No harm. No harm. No harm, no damage. No, there has to be a victim. In order there for there to be a real, for a real harm and victim, there has to be somebody step forward and say, I'm a victim, I was harmed. Not, oh, uh, oh, the, the province is short on money, we better get out there and, and uh, tell the cops to go put up some roadblocks and collect some more money for us. Why do they collect at the end of the month? Why do they go crazy? Let's see the balance here. Let's see where all the, where the money is going.